partnership between the 633rd Medical Group and the Hampton Veteran Affairs Medical Center that will impact the patient care across Hampton Roads and the Tidewater market. Before we get started, there are some distinguished guests that we would like to introduce at this time. Please hold the all applause until everyone has been announced. Secretary for Health of the Department of Veteran Affairs, Dr. Sharif Elanol. Assistant Secretary of Defense for Health Affairs, Dr. Lester Martinez Lopez. Director, Defense Health Network Atlantic, Rear Admiral Matthew Case. Executive Director, Hampton Veteran Affairs, 33rd Medical Group, Colonel Lynn Shinneberry. Executive Director, Office of Veteran Affairs and Department of Defense for Health Affairs, Mr. Yes, yes, sir. Wow, what an amazing morning. Thank you all so much for being here today. It's a beautiful day in a beautiful facility, uh, celebrating just the start of a beautiful partnership. So thank you so much for giving your time today. Before I get into just a few prepared welcome remarks, uh, I, I'd just like to again thank the talented, our singer, our chaplain, and everyone who had a hand in putting this wonderful ceremony together. We can give them a round of applause. For you. <laughs> Veterans have access to state-of-the-art medical care and support services. This leads to better health outcomes and a higher quality of life for those who have served our country. Furthermore, a well-supported military health tendencies to future conflicts against increasingly more capable and determined ad adversaries. Readiness that- A camera? All right, good. <laughs> Uh, unscripted, so stand by. Uh, just here, and I'm just incredibly thankful. Uh, thankful, Mayor, for coming. Adela, and thanks for being a great host. And Nate, you're running a beautiful facility here to the entire team. Thank you for what you're doing. I'm incredibly thankful to get to represent Defense Health AMC, Lieutenant General Crossland, uh, and tell you this. This young sailor, who just went over 30 years of service, has seen the power. Thank you very much, uh, distinguished guest. Uh, thank you to our host here, Langley, for inviting me to be here today. Uh, today's event is the latest of a series of events marking the expanded partnership. City of folks in this room, the uniform services represented, of course, our incredible. VA team uh, led by Dr. Takisa Simmons and your whole team who helped uh, work with the Langley team to get us here today. The entire 633 medical group, thank you. Admiral Case, every time I see you, we're doing something awesome, so, which is that when we work together, we mutually serve. We will have four patient aligned care teams, our multidisciplinary clinics. and other distinguished guests, our esteemed veterans, colleagues from the Department of Defense, ladies and gentlemen. Today marks a momentous occasion in the ongoing story of our commitment to those who have worn the cloth of our nation. As we stand here at the threshold of the new Langley VA Clinic at the, six, at the 633rd Medical Group on Joint Base Langley Eustis, we are not just opening a facility, we are reaffirming a pledge a pledge to care for our nation heroes today, tomorrow, and forevermore, systems nationwide. This explosive growth underscores critical need for accessible, efficient, and comprehensive healthcare services. The opening of the Langley VA Colonel Kellett and Dr. Simmons, will you do the honor of cutting the ribbon on the count of three? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> on behalf of the 633rd Air Base Wing Commander, Colonel Altman, the 633rd Medical Group Commander, Colonel Kellett, and the Director of Hampton Veteran Affairs Healthcare System, Dr. Takisa Simmons, I present to you the Langley and Veteran Affairs Partnership between the 633rd Medical Group and the Hampton Veteran Affairs Healthcare System.
Folks, for the J.B. Lee Public Affairs Office right here for me, okay? okay. Three, two, one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>